related to the household of purity, nobility, the household of generosity and magnanimity, the Ahl al-Bayt, peace and blessings be upon them, when they dedicated and donated their food for three consecutive days, as the Qur'an explains to us in Surah Al-Insan, وَيُطْعِمُونَ الطَّعَامَ عَلَىٰ حُبِّهِ مِسْكِينًا وَيَتِيمًا وَأَسِيرًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala across a number of verses highlights how these group of pure individuals thought about others before themselves, took care of the needs of others before looking at their own requirements and their own needs. Indeed, we are told that the Ahl al-Bayt alayhum as Sayyidatun Nisa Fatima al-Zahra Peace and blessings be upon her, her husband, the commander of the faithful, Mawla al-Muttaqeen Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam, their sons, Imam al-Hasan and Hussein, peace and blessings be upon them. And we are told their servant, Fidda, Lady Fidda, Radhwanullah ta'ala alayha, had made this vow that they will fast for three days if the Imams Hassan and Hussein are cured from their illness. And the first day that they observed this fast, a knock on the door is heard, whereby a poor individual requests some assistance. One after the other, they all give that individual their entire portion of loaf or the bread that they had that they would use to break their fast that day. They did not half it, they did not quarter it, they all dedicated it and donated it to this particular individual. They broke their fast with water and slept hungry. The next day, a orphan comes and requests the same thing. Once again, this household that is known for its generosity did exactly the same as the first day, gave its food to this particular orphan, Yatim. And on the third day, a captive who perhaps was not necessarily a Muslim requested assistance, requested food. And Amir al Mu'mineen, Sayyidat al Nisa Fatima, Al Hassan al Hussein, as well as Lady Fidda, would give their bread and whatever they had to break their fast.